Hello everyone, this is Brian Beamish, the Canadian Rational Investor, CR Investor on TradingView and Twitter. Coming to you today, Thursday, July 3rd, 2014, with our Bitcoin summary. Hopefully we'll just do a quick 5-10 minute or here today. Um, so let's get to the charts. Um, we all remember this. This is our four-hour BTCE chart, and of course we know that uh, we switched to BTCE from Phoenix analysis because we're going to try and run this PAM service, and PAM works off of BTCE, so that's why we're doing PAM now. Uh, that's why we're doing BTCE now, excuse me. <clears throat> all right. Um, not really much has changed over the past couple of days. Um, you know, looking back over time, you can see how we had a double top of a double top, and you move back to the 50% level or 38.2 off the higher time frames worked out quite nicely. Um, uh, after that short, we had a nice bounce back to the 38.2 uh, and a 50% tag there. Came back down, tested the lows, um, and so this formed what we call a bat formation. Um, a bat harmonic formation will be confirmed on a fail at the 88.6 level, and that's what I've been sort of squawking about recently. Uh, we worked our way up there. We got within two ticks of that level and then started to back off. So um, this bat setup never actually did come in, but we did have a uh, an interesting uh, short setup off of this um, bat failure. And so that's what we're looking at on the one-hour chart. Uh, and you can see here, this is basically that uh, move uh, blown up. Um, so here's the start of our move here, 555, rallied up to uh, 654, basically $100. Uh, and now we started to clean up. Um, usually in these circumstances, uh, first stop target 38.2 is a pretty reliable uh, um, gauge uh, for where she might cool down a bit, and I see that's at 616 right now. Um, and this has been the short setup that I've been chatting about for uh, the past couple days, where you had a double top within a double top, and your target off of this should be 50% of the most recent move, which just so happens to be at 619. So this is my target window, 619 to 616. Uh, the short level, you could either take it off of the second double top inside here or if you were conservative off of this uh, massive original double top. Either way, you can see how these short levels have played and it's very interesting how, I don't know whether it was yesterday or the day before, but we basically ran up above uh, the original short level and then failed back below the original short level. So obviously this is an important level to the marketplace here. Uh, long and short of all this is uh, basically this trend, um, this trade now is uh, into its like 43rd hour um, and I think this is an excellent testament to um, a trader's life. I mean, uh, we're not all firecrackers and uh, ice cream and uh, birthday cake uh, making money in 10 minutes, yada, yada, yada. Sometimes these setups can take a long time to play out and a disciplined patient trader will stick to their original uh, risk reward model and you just basically have to uh, just sit and be patient and uh, you know it's interesting on the uh, trading view chat that's this little chat function here um, watching sort of new people to the trading world get all super excited bullish here and then are they all those guys disappear as the market breaks down and then you know we're rallying back up here and oh my god we're going to 5,000 and then all of a sudden they disappear again and really the point that I would just make is you know there really hasn't been a heck of a lot to talk about here over the past day or two uh, the short setup is in. You know, if you are short, then great. You just sit there and be short, and you wait for your targets to be hit. And uh, you know, has as has been the case uh, over the past, uh, I don't know, maybe two or three weeks. Um, these setups have worked, and here's the most recent setup. These setups have worked marvelously. 
And you know, this last one, uh, probably a great example of don't tinker. So you know, you had your long set up in here, your risk window, you know, maybe your risk down to these lows. This risk window might be a bit high, but nonetheless, you can see how the market worked up. Uh, this was our reward window up here. We just had to be patient. You know, we had to go through a day or two of just consolidation and backfill, and then sure enough, boom, targets hit, two to one, everybody's happy. So long and short of all this is um, basically this short setup is still very much in play. I don't see any reason to touch this at the moment. Um, and I will be proved wrong on a move back above these old highs. And that just simply means that this setup failed on to the next trade. Just as simple as that. So uh, in summary for today, double top within double top still working. Setup is still perfectly valid. I suppose you could move your stop to here if you really felt aggressive. You know, the most recent high fail. Really, my feeling is, is, and if I was running the PAM, is I would just leave this working, just let it work its way out. Um, looking at the 15-minute chart, just to finish off today's session, uh, for all those uh, super short-term uh, time frame traders, um, I had postulated that uh, we had basically two scenarios when I last did this 15-minute chart. Uh, and that was sort of right up in this area. I said that if we had broken out through the OTE zone higher, then I could justify a run of these uh, stops. Uh, and I also said that if we broke down lower uh, through this floor, I could justify a run of these lows. Um, and so yesterday through this uh, meltdown through the uh, 642 failure. We came right down into the OTE long zone. And I suppose if you do like playing these short-term uh, time setups, um, you could have justified uh, looking at the long side down here. And sure enough, we did have our counter trend rally back up probably into an OTE short zone off of this range. Um, but, you know, really the general message I think that you get here is, and hopefully you can see this from the trend lines. In fact, why don't we uh, bold this trend line here for you. Uh, we'll do this a little stronger. Boom. And boom. You can see how the market is just basically coiling here. Um, my hunch, you know, that we have a holiday weekend coming in here. My hunch is that we're probably going to continue this coil uh, and then have some sort of massive resolution. Um, if we look at the momentum indicators, you know, at this point, um, we had a bullish divergence here that needed to be cleaned up, and so that's happened. Um, we're threatening to roll over here again. Um, so we'll keep an eye on that. Um, and then, you know, we had a sort of a saucer bottom and then now a saucer top. Uh, Willie never really got stupid in either of these conditions, so really I don't see any, you know, huge impetus to put on a trade. And now we're rolling back down, and what I see here is that the on-balance volume is just slowly making lower highs and lower lows. So, you know, on the shorter time frame, really, we got a massive coil here. Something big is going to happen here over the next little bit. Tough to say exactly. Um, as I've said before, you know, the uh, model here is short, and just basically you shouldn't touch it. Uh, and if I was uh, PAM trading, that's basically the position I'd have on right now, basically saying, look, at if it busts through the top here, then I'll get out, on to the next trade. You know, it failed, no big deal. Uh, and then, of course, if it comes down to the 50% level, this 38.2 area, then I take profits and a uh, big hurrah. All right, so that's basically the Bitcoin summary here for today. Uh, Thursday, July 3rd, as we said, we have a U.S. holiday coming up here this weekend. My hunch is we're probably just going to go sideways into that event, and then next week we'll see the fireworks. Uh, but uh, as I have said previously, we do have a short setup working off of the top, and uh, that would basically be my stance at the moment. So big hurry up and do nothing. This trade now is into its like 42nd hour, um, and really I think this is an excellent testament to just patience, discipline, um, and persistence when you're a trader, sticking to your setups and just you know following what the market tells you to do. 
All right, have yourselves a great day. Uh, we'll uh, talk to you tomorrow. Uh, well, it being July 4th, I might do one, I might not. You know, market's obviously going to be closed, um, you know, in the States. Uh, so uh, we'll see how it goes. But And then, of course, if we see anything dramatic happen, uh, I'll let you all know. So have a great day, all the best, and good luck in your trading. Bye for now.